Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're addressing our low mids with Tech Evasion's T-Clarity and T-Warmer. This is going to be a two for today where we're dealing with two plugins from Tech Evasion. These are the same guys that make T-Compressor, t deesser and other tools that we've talked about before. Today, we're concentrating on our low mids with T-Clarity and T-Warmer. They're very similar in what they do, except how they do it. T-Warmer adds nice saturation to our low mid area and T-Clarity helps kind of clean things up. And you can use these two in conjunction with each other. Maybe you have some really heavy guitars and you need to kind of clean up the mud. T-Clarity is gonna be your friend for that. Or like in our example today, we're dealing with a female vocal that was sung through a condenser mic, but that was it condenser mic into an interface and there's no real color. So we're gonna warm it up. So let's dive into the DAW and address our low mids. All right, so here we are inside of our session and here's our two plugins. On the left-hand side, you can see T Warmer and in the middle, you have T Clarity. Like we said, these address the low mids. T Clarity does more of a reduction in our low mids and T Warmer does more of an additive saturation in that same relative area. But how they work from there is a little bit different. Let's go into our cuts with T Clarity. With T-Clarity, we see very similar things that we see in a lot of the plugins from Tech Evasion. We have our output meter on the left-hand side in this one, and we have a level meter on the right-hand side. We have the big control in the center with our processing, and this goes from negative 40 all the way up to zero. So we're not really doing any reduction here, or we're doing some heavy reduction. By default, it starts at negative 20. Still a pretty decent amount of reduction. Underneath that, you have the difference key where you can listen to what you're getting rid of. And to the right, you have filters, so you're only listening to the areas that you're affecting with the frequency range buttons underneath it. Mid, high mid, low mid, and low. These work in different frequency ranges, so it's going to span around. You can check the manual and it tells you exactly what these ranges are. Then you have intensity, kind of how much low mid reduction you're going to get. And it is in a ratio, so it's very similar to a compressor. And that's kind of what you're doing here, is you're just kind of compressing down the low mids, and the width of frequency that you're addressing is controlled by the sharpness. Adjust this around to kind of change your EQ bandwidth, or its Q settings. Then if we switch over to T Warmer, we're now adding. We're going to be adding in some saturation in our low mids, and I've really kind of, this isn't how it looks by default. I was messing around with this before and that's how I left it. So same thing like we see before, input meter on the left with adjustments, output meter on the right, big control in the center, and it's the amount of warming you're doing. So it's a percentage. By default, it starts at 20%, something nice and subtle. I'm gonna crank it back up to 100 because I want you guys to hear what it's doing in a little bit. Starting in the bottom left, mix knob right in here so we can do some parallel processing. Frequency is the center frequency of where you want this warmth to kind of live or where you want it to really kind of help saturate and enhance. So you can select this all the way down to 30 Hertz. So your super lows and it goes all the way up to 600 Hertz. So we're not going anywhere up above that, not into like the normal mid range or anything. Then on the right hand side are your modes. You have fat, smooth, hard, and warm. And very quickly, Smooth is exactly like you think, it's very subtle, but it has this nice gentle curve to it to give you that saturation and warmth. I have it cranked right now, but if you're looking for something very subtle, try smooth. Then you have fat and warm. These two are very similar. Fat will give you a little bit more of the low saturation, even with the frequency selector maybe a little bit higher, and it's just to give you more of a sense of low ends coming from there. Then you have warm, which also gives you this obvious low mid warmth, but it's not accentuating the low frequencies as much. And then you have hard. Hard is really good for if you have something that's already kind of a soft sound, you can add some aggression with hard. It works a bit harder and it's gonna add some extra saturation. Okay, so those are our controls for our two plugins. I'm gonna actually bypass T Clarity or make it inactive and get this out of here. Right now, what I wanna do is concentrate on T Warmer. And like we said before, we're working with a female vocal 
local. Let me tell you the chain going into tea warmer. There's a little bit of a Neve style EQ just to bring a little bit of presence forward. And then it's followed up by some compression with a distressor style compressor. And it's doing a sometimes decent amount of compression, but this is a very soft song. So during the low passages, maybe one dB of compression. In some of the harder areas, we're getting up there, but don't worry about that. Then from there, we're going straight into T warmer. So we have a clean comparison. Here is our raw vocal with the little bit of processing we were already talking about and T warmer bypassed. And now I'm going to put T warmer into the path in its ridiculous settings that I have right here. It is going to sound saturated, but I want you to hear what it's doing. And as we're going, I'll dial it back to just give us some extra body that this vocal needs. And I don't want to do it with EQ. I want to make it seem like it was recorded through a microphone that may have had a tube in it or some outboard gear that had some transistors or something just to give it some color. That's where T warmer is going to come in. Let's take a listen. By your side, sleep with an angel by your side. Sleep with an angel by your side. When the day is done, let your fear subside. And here it is once again, soloed out. So we're just listening to our vocal with the little bit of processing we were talking about. I'm going to start with T-Warmer in bypass, and then a couple bars in, we'll turn it back on. I'm going to leave the subtle settings that we have going on here, 32% and the smooth curve. By your side. By your side. Sleep with an angel by your side. So we're getting some color here. We're getting a little bit of the saturation and because of the style of this song, which is still actually in production, I'm just doing some vocal cleaning as they continue to write and produce this song. What I'm getting is this color that I feel this vocal needs. It was too clean, too, it didn't have enough to it without tea warmer on giving it some of that nice saturation and in the mix which is just piano and it's going to have some strings in here as well it needed something to help fill it out and kind of bolster the sound to stand up against all of the instruments so it needed some of the color that tea warmer is doing and i found the frequency that i wanted which is around 350 that's just kind of where i landed by cranking it all the way and sweeping around now let's move on to tea clarity what we're actually going to do is jump over to our piano track and we're going to mess around with our low mids and kind of just clean these up and get them out of the way and even what i'll do is i'll take my pro eq off and we're just going to use T Clarity to clean up this piano. If you're curious, I was already doing some cleaning up and giving a little extra low end with my Pro EQ, but this is in bypass now. So let's go into T Clarity and clean up these low mids on the piano. Thank you. 
So there, at the ends there, I switched to difference. This is how we're able to listen to just what T clarity is listening for and scooping out. And you saw on the right-hand side, our reduction meter, which is that red meter, we were getting about five dB of reduction in this low mid, because that's our frequency range, band. And this is exactly what I wanted to clean up. I wanted to make sure that there was room for the warmth of the vocal to kind of come through. So like I said earlier in the video, you can use both of these tools together. On your instruments, maybe you just need to clean some stuff up. T Clarity will help you clean up your low mids, anywhere from your, like, your really lows up to your higher mids. And you can just kind of clean them up, use the difference button, make sure you're working in the frequency range you want to, or that you're just getting rid of the stuff that you want to get rid of. Then it gives you room for T Warmer to do its thing and add some saturation to other elements of your production. If you wanna pick up either Tea Warmer or Tea Clarity, use the link down below to head over to Tech Evasion's website where you can pick up a copy today. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For mixing or lesson information, or you just wanna be a part of the community, join the Discord, there's a link in the description. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.